Welcome to Supercharged Storytimes, making a good thing even better. My name is Diane Hutchins, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the background of Supercharged Storytimes and how they are grounded in the research of Project Views 2. In an age of dwindling budgets, libraries have been finding it increasingly difficult to convince funders and decision makers that supporting early learning programs in public libraries is a wise investment. Just saying, we know we make a difference, is no longer enough. But how could we prove this? Libraries needed hard science to demonstrate that their programs could play a valuable role in the education of young children. Project Views 2 would provide a way for Washington's public libraries to prove their value as community early learning partners. Project Views 2 was a truly unique study. Research moved from the lab to the library. Library staff, as well as children present at story times, were videotaped. Parental permission had been obtained in advance of the filming. The observations from the videotapes were then coded, yielding a massive amount of data. Project Views 2 was truly statewide as can be seen in this infographic, and as you can also see, no other study like it had ever been done before. An exhaustive literature review culminated in a white paper that provided guidance for program design and field testing. In both Year 1 and Year 2, Researchers observed 40 librarians in randomly selected small, medium, and large public libraries across the state of Washington. They also designed a graduate course in which they trained master's degree students to become reliable on two of the VIEWS 2 tools and then had them go out and collect and code data. Then in year two, 20 of the librarians were randomly assigned to an experimental group. These 20 librarians attended a training in which the researchers discussed and shared the tools, encouraged collaboration and communication among the librarians, and provided weekly email tips of ways to incorporate these indicators into their story times. The control group just continued business as usual. The researchers then trained a second group of student researchers who collected a second year of data. The students were not told which librarians were in the control or experimental groups. They were also unaware that the researchers wanted to focus on certain early learning skills. Because this was a serious research project, there was jargon. There was also a control group, as I mentioned before, which did not receive any training or, as it was termed, intervention, and an experimental group which did. Project Views 2 incorporated Washington State's early learning and development benchmarks, which were subsequently revised to become the less prescriptive early learning and development guidelines. Researchers focused on the 36 to 60 month age range in the study. The training of those in the experimental group did make a difference in the way librarians presented story times. The behavior of the children who attended story times also changed after librarians in the experimental group had been trained. It did not change at story times that were delivered by members of the control group. Supercharged story times used the techniques proven effective by Project Views 2 research to enhance library story times. Dialogic reading is another ingredient shown by Project Views to help make story times more effective. Don't read to the children, engage them. Think of the possibilities when you involve those young minds. Views 2 resources make planning and delivering story times easy and fun. Tools available on the Views 2 website are simplified models of the assessment instruments used in Views 2 research. PET, which stands for Program Evaluation Tool, observed the behaviors of librarians while they were providing story times. BCAP, or Benchmarks Curricular Planning and Assessment Framework, 
observe the behaviors displayed by children at those story times. These two instruments were used by faculty and student researchers to show that focusing on early literacy and story times does make a difference in preparing children to learn to read successfully. You already provide great story times. Supercharged story times can make them even better. In addition to the early literacy skills of alphabetic knowledge and phonological awareness, tools, tip sheets, and videos are available for six additional domains. And if you have story times grouped by developmental stages, tools are available for three different age groups. Project Views 2 offers useful resources for everyone, including parents and caregivers. Supercharged Story Times will build an online community of practice based on the research of Project Views 2. By increasing awareness and adoption of supercharged story times, administrators and staff will be better able to articulate the value and impact of early literacy programs in their libraries. Washington is the first pilot state in what will be a phased national rollout of supercharged story times. Four additional pilot states, which will be announced in the future, will continue the rollout beginning this fall. Supercharged story times could not have happened without collaboration. OCLC is the lead implementation partner with formal implementation partners Washington State Library and Thrive Washington. Additional members of the team were Project Views 2 researchers, an early learning consultant, and an evaluator to evaluate project outcomes and support development of the national scale project. And partners. This project is funded by a grant from the Institute of Museum and Library Services and is a partnership of OCLC, the Washington State Library, and Thrive Washington.